I know this is like the most random, random meal ever, but I've got sweet potato fries, sliced green beans that are like still crunchy, two Yorkshire puddings with some gravy. And that's what I'm having at near half past nine at night. Near half past or twenty past nine at night. I've literally just made homemade chickpea curry. That's that. I got some fries with it. And yes, the telly is loud. So I was going to have this last weekend. So I worked very well. And actually, I'm not very well today, but I need it. It's like half past one in the morning on Saturday the 18th, 19th, whatever, of August. And ignore the mess. Let's see if I can do this with my left hand. I think I need a second hand to do it. Because I think I need to hold it. Yeah, I do. Now that is a proper taste in cider. Now, yeah, that just tastes like proper cider. I like that. Yes, I've got earphones in. This is really nice. It's called Kentish Discovery Apple Cider from Kentish Pip Walton Farm. Beck's Born Kent 5.4% expertly blended for Max and Spencer's 500 ml. I like that. Hello. Look so cute. Look at that little cute face. How could I not love that? You're beautiful. You're chilling. Side eye. <laughs> Oh, you're too cute. That's a lovely, lovely angle. I don't even know if you can even hear me because I've got headphones in. And the mic thing's not next to me. Looks like I'm sucking on my wire. So I've got a choice for my second cider, shider, my second shider, cider, angry orchid hard cider, which weird I would say hard, hard, hard cider, um, it's a five percenter, I don't know, like, oh it's gluten free so I'm alright, I'm not a celiac for the record. This crisp and refreshing cider mixes the sweetness of apples with a subtle dryness for a balanced cider taste. The fresh apple aroma and slightly sweet, ripe apple flavour make the cider hard to resist. Ingredients hard cider. What is a hard cider? So I've gone off that because I don't know what a hard cider is. That doesn't make sense to me. Then my next option is this, which is massive. I think this would be like one I would drink by itself, and I think it's really strong. But oh, what you actually put in I might have one. Should I put the other one? Um, I think oh god, this is a strong one. Merry Down, seven point five percent. God, I've had this ages. I think I bought this about two years ago. It's a medium vintage cider. Drink by QI17. Oh, I might not even be able to have that. So then I've got this one. 
Tim the strawberry one the other week and it was so good. So it's the dry apple, I think that's why I didn't want it. Got any other ciders in the fridge? Oh, there's none in the door. Um, yeah, good video content. Okay, I think that's all my ciders because I have, oh, there's one there. That one's called Thatcher's Vintage. 7.5% I think it's ages as well I think I've been buying them and not drinking them I won't be surprised if this is out of date medium dry is there a date on it god there was one that I had the other week and I couldn't find the date for ages it was that Copperberg one don't know where the date is on the bottom no. Why can't they put the date in a, like an obvious place? I bet it's on the lid. It's not on the lid. This is the one I'm going for, just because. For a dry side, and that is really sweet. Cheers, everyone. So, the good cider is completely finished. I feel like starting another one, but it's like half past three in the morning. So, I don't know if I will or if I won't. But I'm running out of space on my phone to film. So. I'm going to turn the camera around, hold on. It's basically, it's like half three in the morning. And I'm thinking of opening another cider, but at the same time I'm thinking I won't finish it till four-ish. Um, I'm not in a rush to go to bed. I've got a sleeping tablet to take, but I don't really want to take it. But I think my doctor would be cross at me if I don't. Um... The dog's gone in the conservatory, she's just staring at me, but she's laid on the floor. I don't know why she's staring at me. Um, I've only had one meal today, because I got up and then I had, what did I have? I had like a little bit of chocolate, and then I had a, a jelly, and then I didn't eat again. And did I show you the curry that I made? I had that like, I think it was half past eight when I had that, and I've not had anything since. And I'm craving peanut butter on toast, but I think my peanut butter ran out and I didn't get any. And this is a rubbish angle, but I don't care. Um, and I keep thinking because I um, made enough so I can have curry tomorrow. And it was quite nice, but I forgot to buy spinach, so it didn't have spinach in it. And I feel like it could have done with less um, coconut cream in. But I put in what it said, but I feel like it needed less. I didn't water it down with water because I just wanted to get it eaten and yeah I keep thinking I'm gonna go and eat the, the curry but I don't want to eat it because it's my evening meal tomorrow so I don't know what to have because I'm like I want something savoury but there isn't really much in that savoury there's just bread and I, I've had rice cakes I've had two ri rice cakes with dairy Leon and I've had two rye cakes and I preferred the rye cakes with Dairy Leon ages ago but I want some savoury but I don't really have that much savoury and as I said I think the peanut butter is missing or I've run out oh my god I've rubbed off that bit of my eyebrow can you see you can see where it just was anyway I'll probably film in bed or not if not I'll see you tomorrow when I'm going to be hungover So it's ten past four in the morning, and I've just got two Yorkshire puddings out of the oven and burnt my fingers picking them up. But oh well, time for Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> it's five fifteen a.m. on Sunday, the whatever. 
still technically Saturday to me because I've not been to sleep. It's still dark outside though. I remember like a month ago when it was like getting light at 20 to 4 in the morning and now it's 20, well quarter past 5. I am actually lying down. Um, I knew I said I haven't took my makeup off, but I have. This is not the most flattering angle, is it? Oh well, I thought I'd just say hello. Is it me you're looking for? I am going to be going to sleep soon. That side was good, that first one was amazing. Like, I'm getting there again. I think I'm awake because I was drinking Diet Coke at whatever time. Like I literally finished drinking it just before I had that first cider. Hopefully I told you what time I was having that cider when I had it. I can't remember right now. I'm just tired. And in an old flat wind angle so I'm going to go. Now everyone. Well it's the morning really. It's like two weeks tomorrow, like it's Monday tomorrow. Two weeks tomorrow to my first live vlog again. Is it two weeks tomorrow? It's like the 20th on Monday. 21st. Yeah, 20th on Monday. So yeah, it's two weeks on Monday. And I'll be back. And this is like going up a month later. Or Five weeks later, so you already know that. But I'm gonna go. See you tomorrow. It's about ten past four on Sunday, and I've only been downstairs twenty minutes. So I've just heated up the rest of the chickpea curry from last night. Got the rest of the fries, and I've got half of a packet of, I think it's Tilda Basmati rice. Do the one that's ready cooked and you just warm up? I always warm it up in the frying pan because it's better. So that's my first meal of the day. And yes, I'm hungover. So it's just before seven now. I did say it'd be, to be to like six, seven when I was next able to do some filming. I did think it'd be before now. I've not actually been home that long so it's not like I've messed around for long. I've probably been on 15 minutes and I've put the shopping away that, that I bought much. So, do you like my new top? I'm not too sure about it. it is. I got my normal size and I should have sized down, but you never know when you buy online. So, in, it's not a regular cut, but I definitely could have gone a size down. And I put it on and I'm like, should I keep it or shouldn't? And I thought, knowing my look, it'll probably shrink when I wash it. Um, so, I've just kept this size. I've got it on with skinny jeans and my trainers, and I did have. A cardigan on but not my favourite one and it doesn't do up either like my favourite one I think I like those open tight ones it does have pockets though and I like a good pocket um so I wrote myself a to-do list earlier because this is what I wanted to talk about in the clip that I filmed last and I don't know if I'm going to put that clip in because I'm in the bath so I think I might just skip that clip so basically I was going on about how like I went to sleep at like five in the morning and I didn't properly get to sleep till half to six because I kept waking up and needing a wee and then I had a lot of really weird dreams and I just kept waking up a lot and then I was awake and then I didn't know what to do and I went back to sleep and I'd set an alarm for like one in the afternoon and I know that's late but when you're not getting to sleep till like six in the morning then you're not sleeping fully and you keep waking up. I just needed some sleep but I didn't last until then because I just kept waking up, I kept hearing noises outside and doors shutting and one of my neighbours has got scaffolding put up today and the bin men came so I didn't get a really good sleep and I eventually had a bath and stuff and I said like in that clip that I'm not going to put in now that I wanted to leave the house by four and I think it was like three at that point and I'd not washed my hair or anything and it, it didn't happen, it was like 25 to 5 or 5 o'clock or 20 to 5 ish I think when I left the house oh god and like I didn't get into like 15-20 minutes ago but 
earlier, like before I got in the bath, I sat and I thought, I actually don't feel as bad today as I have done. I don't know what's happened, but I'm feeling kind of okay today. So I wrote myself a to-do list, which I was going to do when I got in. And I'm in now and I'm filming, but I did want to film. But I think I'm going to try and get through that to-do list. And I'm going to try and take my medication at 11 o'clock because I've only been taking half a dose for about four nights now because of what time I'm going to sleep I know if I take the full dose I'm just going to be totally out of it until the afternoon even if I'm awake I'm just going to be like on a serious go slow because of the sleeping tablets so I s decided earlier that 11 o'clock the cut off point so if I start thinking about it about half 10 I'll probably work my way up to taking it at 11 I've got a hospital appointment tomorrow so that's another reason why I have to take it earlier because I have to like get up before nine and leave here at a certain time. I don't want to say what time because I don't want anyone knowing what time I went to the hospital because it's private, but it's in the morning anyway. And I've still not had my x-ray or done other stuff that my doctor wanted me to do. And I'm gonna have to, this is why I wanted to film a clip because I filmed a 16 minute clip on Saturday night. Then overnight Saturday, I uploaded my Boots Hole review and when I woke up to start uploading a video clip to this channel after that in my dazed tired state because I was up all night I think I was up till half six seven in the morning I accidentally deleted the 16 minute clip instead of the, the boots clip because that was already uploaded so I could take it off my phone so I lost that footage so basically I was talking about a lot of things and if I've got time now I'm going to briefly touch on it all so I don't know how much I've said so I'm going to say the basics and if I've missed anything I'll put it in another clip at another time but basically I got to see my doctor Thursday she called me in she got the receptionist to phone me up and get me to go in I was the last patient of the day like she fitted me in after she finished with the patients and she basically got me in because a letter got dropped off there that I wrote like I wrote so many versions of the letter I think she ended up with a six version so I wrote five different letters to her all of them had similar things in but some had more than others and I think the one she ended up with was the one that was the shortest I've got rid of the other ones they just no longer exist but I still had two of them with me when I was with her because I had to get one out because there was something in it that I wanted so I basically told her about that receptionist and what she did the day I went in when I didn't have an appointment and I was in a really bad place and I still don't want to talk about that because I've realised talking about a lot of stuff in detail actually hurts me mentally more than it does help me if that makes sense so at the moment I can't talk about stuff like that and I'm not saying that will be forever but for now I can't go into details but I'll happily discuss depression and anxiety in the broad sense with people I just don't want to discuss the stuff that's been going on in my head because I'm struggling with it at the moment and to just talk about it on here it's not going to help me so I said when I came in she was having none of it and I, I said I went into detail about what was wrong with me when I didn't really have to and I didn't need to but she just wasn't listening and I was about to say and it felt like she didn't want to know and I went and it felt like she and my doctor went didn't want to know so I got the feeling that other people have said that this receptionist doesn't want to know because she basically and like finished my sentence for me she didn't know what I was going to say and then I said you know like I told her how I felt and I felt I said like I told her I was feeling suicidal and she told me to wait to my next appointment and she was going to let me walk out of there and I said I was just about to ask to speak to the other receptionist who I knew was there because I heard her talking to the receptionist when she came out and I said because she would know I've, I'm not there for the fun of it and my doctor agreed with that and I said I literally was just about to ask and she went in the back room and then when she came out she basically said her message was being put through to you but you wouldn't see me and my doctor weren't happy about that and I said obviously I've got to tell you because you know I could have potentially left and done something because she basically refused to pass a message on to you and I said I need to tell you something else that I came in Tuesday but I came in a, because I wanted to try to see you this week and I, I said you know as I walked up to her she rolled her eyes at me and I said I asked if I could see you this week and she said there was no appointments and I said could you put a message through and ask if she could potentially fit me in and she said no and I told her everything that she said to me and I told her how 
she'd basically give me the login details to, for another patient and breach patient confidentiality and she went this is really serious do you have what she gave you and I went yeah but it's in another letter that I wrote for you I'm gonna have to take it out because I'm not giving you this letter I just don't want you to have it and she laughed at me and I gave it to her and she thanked me for telling her she said she's gonna have to pass it on to the practice manager to deal with because it's very serious and it needs dealing with and I said you know I did try to come in on Wednesday I was telling her Thursday because I wanted to drop this letter in for you and I said and I saw her and I just couldn't face her so I walked out and I said to my doctor she shouldn't be making me feel this way and she went no she shouldn't so my doctor knows and it's being dealt with I mean I don't know how they're gonna deal with it but you know they shouldn't like ignore what she's done because it's not only she's making me feel like I can't approach her and she's upsetting me but she was gonna let me walk out after I told her I was I was suicidal like you know I shouldn't have even had to tell her that like what people have said to me like she should be putting messages through if the patient is saying like it's urgent it's very important I see the doctor she shouldn't be denying them seeing the doctor she should be say, asking the doctor and leaving it up to the doctor so she's basically making decisions that she shouldn't be making my arm's killing so you're gonna have to put up with this angle so when I was there like she asked me about my my physical I think it was a mental my physical health because I basically like was like I don't tell you everything in the letter and I said and she's like I need to know what's wrong with your physical health this is really important and I said like I don't like I didn't really want to tell her and I told her one thing and basically I've got two sample things to to do which she expected Friday and it's Monday now Um, I'm gonna try and do them tomorrow or Wednesday. Like, I just don't like admitting that I'm ill. But does this top make me look older? Anyway, <laughs> I just noticed. Like, I don't know if I like it, and I do feel like it's too big, and I should have sized down. But it's sold out in every other size, and they've got the dress version. But the dress version literally sold out straight away, and I want the dress. So. Anyway, and I've got to have an X-ray, and I was meant to have it Friday, but I, I just felt so anxious, and I just was like, I can't go. And today, it was a, a basically, it's not going to happen because of what time I stayed up, and then I couldn't get up, and then I didn't leave the house till like twenty to five, and she said that it's till half four, quarter to five that you can have these X-rays done. So I've got the hospital tomorrow. So if I'm in an okay frame of mind. I'm going to try and get it done tomorrow but it's a big deal me going to the hospital with my anxiety and other issues that I've got I might not be able to do it so that means it'll be Wednesday but I'm not seeing my doctor for like until Thursday the following week so even if I don't do the x-ray until next Monday Tuesday she's still going to have the results back by Thursday because I'm pretty sure they get them back within 48 hours and also the samples that I'm I'm doing for her, they only take 48 hours. So I technically have like till next Monday because I wouldn't risk it Tuesday because they might not get it picked up till Wednesday so she wouldn't have them back Thursday. So I've still got a week to work up to doing it. I just, I don't like admitting I'm ill. Anyway, let me know what you think of this top. Like it is too big but I've worn it now so there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I just wanted something different and I'm trying to buy bits and pieces from my wardrobe because I'm, I need to get quite a few bits and pieces and this was just a starter and I've got another top but I'm doing a separate video on all the clothes that I buy basically. Anyway I'm going to go and I've cut it down to less than 16 and I've added more stuff so do you like my makeup today? I'm using my favourite autumn winter palette. I got it out today. It's by Zoeva and it, I think it's called Caramel. Mirange or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to go and try and get that to-do list done. It's not massive, but it's more than I've done in weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. But for some reason today, I just feel kind of okay. I don't know why, but I might not feel it tomorrow. So I've got to make the most of the days when I feel a little bit better than I have done. <laughs> 